Hi, Donna. Did you see your face? It's good to see you too. Oh man, long day. Um, so um, we are starting at six. We should be done right at seven for a riot. Uh, if not, maybe sooner. you could make it five forty or six forty-five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> much sooner. I, I don't, I'm not going to do much today. So you sound, you sound really tired. Now the the most Bye, about this tell me about the, the uh, what they sent me about the 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 election. Right, you got the files yes. that I sent. Okay. Yes, thank you. And as wonderful as they are and, and helpful and informative and everything, we shouldn't have to worry about a thing, right? We've got it all there in front of us. Oh, pardon me. Oh, yeah. um, oh, that makes me sad. You're so tired. You shouldn't even have to do this. At least I have a, some, some semblance of a committee now so we can get some stuff done. So. Um. The only ones that are official, well, Sean's the only new one that's official. Let's get them all official by for the next meeting. You I mean, yeah. still use them, do whatever you're going to do with them. That's, yeah. They, they won't come before it today. Sean will. Yeah, just me and Sean. So. Yep. Uh, I doubt Mindy's going to be here. So. Haven't seen much of her since she had the baby. Good. Babies do that to you. Babies do do that. They need a lot of attention. I'm, I'm all in favor of babies as long as they live at someone else's house. Sure. That's my thing. I like babies. I like to play with them. I like to look at them. And then I like to give them back. Excuse me. I think this is yours. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. Oh boy. We're going to have a really long one today with the 2040, I think. So, oh, so God. Much to, so much just, to that's just planning, right? Yeah, but it's just the 2040. Just the, uh, and the city is really overdone. You know, they, they have gone so far out into the weeds that they practically have told you what color you have to make your awnings. You know, it's like, if you're on this side of the street, everything's purple. And if you're on this side of the street, everything's yellow. And they, they've just, they've gotten much too detailed. And well, you know me, I'm, yep. I'm one of those only thinks the government should keep their nose out of everything they can keep their nose out of, which isn't much these days, but at least they could not stop telling us what color to build our buildings. Mm -hmm. So. Oh man, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah. Get some rest. We'll have a nice meeting tomorrow. Yes. I sent Henry the, uh, I wasn't sure if, you know, when exactly he wanted to do the redo. So I told him, I said this week or after Thanksgiving, because there's, there's, uh, there's no way we're meeting Thursday. <laughs> Somebody's going to, I don't have plans for Thanksgiving. I don't know if you and Dom do, but I've always considered it a non-starter anyway. Everyone's saying you got to stay home for Thanksgiving. Everyone's not seeing anybody for the holiday because of the, the spike in coronavirus. So, which doesn't change my life much. Yeah, it's not I've been like this for eight months now. But yeah, I I think that people overdo Thanksgiving anyway. A very very large meal. Mm -hmm. Nothing that I particularly care, except I am an absolute nut for good pumpkin pie with lots of whipped cream. Everything I don't need to eat, right? My favorite. I don't like I don't like Thanksgiving food much, and um, and I never we never celebrated Thanksgiving in my family because we thought it was a really stupid weekend to travel. Mm -hmm. so. It's always snow. And... Well, even with, I've got a brother in Northern California, one in Southern California, my sister's in Arizona. We don't want to get together for Thanksgiving. We always had a, a get together sometime around the holiday season that was nowhere near a holiday. So that, and now it's just getting harder. Everybody's got kids, they've got, and brother number two was obviously my favorite. Mm -hmm. 
is very busy up in Northern California establishing his new life, and I'm so happy for him. Lovely. I'm so glad people are happy. Happiness is good. He's really enjoying it. His teenage son decided during from the divorce that he wanted to live with his dad. And I think that's a wonderful thing. Instead of staying with his mommy. She's just too um, controlled. Would you mind making me a call host? Uh, so it's six o'clock. So do you know where your Sean is? Do you know where your children are? Children, where are you? <laughs> come, come. Do I need like a, like a, what is that, a dinner bell? <laughs> well, Tony decided he's going to take on the turkeys and see if he can find some senior places that'll take turkeys. And I told him he has till noon tomorrow to tell me how many turkeys he wants because he's got the truck and and he said, well, you know, if you'd make some calls, I said, no, 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 no. Not there he involved. is. This is me not being involved. Oh, you're red today. You were orange. No, you were kind of a yellow. Do you have something that changes the color in your, you're not, I want to know how you do that. Is it something you have that changes the color? We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Sean. Philip Hugh light bulbs. I love those. And they change color. Yeah, and then there's the apps, so you can chain, do all kinds of different setups. Yeah, I kind of like that. Takes me back to the '60s. Can we put a lava lamp in with it? <laughs> it's like living in a lava lamp. <laughs> all right. Well, we have quorum, Madam President. So we do. We're gonna get started. Oh, this is the first quorum we've had in four months. So very, very excited about Pleasure, this. Sean. Um, yes, very excited. Um, I'm going to be taking notes today. Uh, I'm going to call the meeting to order at 6.02 p.m. Welcome. This is the outreach and communications meeting of the downtown Los Angeles Neighborhood Council. Um, I am going to call us to order. I'm sorry, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to take roll. So when I call your name, please say here. We have um, Miss Patty Berman, our ex officio. Here. Welcome. We have Miss Mindy Kardashian, no. not here. And our newest member, Sean Smith. And uh, Mr. Chair, Joan McGraw is in the part in the uh, attendees lounge. Did you want her to come in? Is she going to be joining this committee? Would She's you like me to pull her in? Committee, yes. so let me pull her in as a panelist. Welcome, Joan. I also have someone there called Fourth and Spring, but I don't believe that's someone you're expecting to be part of the panel. Okay, good. And Sean just disappeared. Oh no. Okay, guys. And Sean just came back. Sorry, I lost uh, something. Something happened. So Sean, you're here, right? You're I'm here. here Not to worry. Oh, Joan's on. Good. Joan is here. Yeah, Joan, just so you know, your uh, your video and your audio is off. But don't worry, you, have to, you don't have to do anything right now until we officially swear you in. Um, so now is the time for general public comment uh, of non-agendized uh, items. The public is requested to dial star nine when prompted by the presiding officer myself to address the board on any agenda item before the board takes an action on an item. Comments from the public on agenda items will be heard only when the respective team is being considered. Comments from the public on other matters not appearing on the agenda that are within the board's jurisdiction will be heard during the general public comment period. Please note that under the Brown Act, the board is prevented from acting on a matter that you bring to its attention during the general public comment period. However, the issue raised by a member of the public may become the subject of a future board meeting. Public comments are limited to two minutes per speaker with a total time of 10 minutes. The chair, depending on the number of speakers, time considerations may change 
these parameters, but I will keep it at two minutes today. So uh, I see we have one attendee. Um, Thank you. Either, would you like to make any general public comment on any not that's uh, non agendized? Go ahead and dial star nine. No, they're, they would have to raise their hand. Or raise your they're hand. On the phone. Star, right, they're that's uh, star 80. Yeah, you are not to... on a phone. Yeah, they have to raise their hand. Going once. Going twice. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to close our first general public comment period of non agendized items. And we're going to move on to our approval of uh, prior minutes. Um, uh, Sean, were you able to take a look at those minutes? The July 2020 minutes? I know you were not here at that I time. I did. They looked fine. Patty, they looked I wasn't fine. here. You weren't here. Okay, well. Um, we'll you may have to vote by yourself. I know. Staining. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to vote on these. Um, uh, any objections on the minutes? Okay, the minutes pass. We'll move on to old business. We've got quite a bit going on here. So of course I wanna welcome um, Sean to our committee. And now we're gonna give you a bunch of things to do, Sean. Yay. <laughs> There's yes. so much to do. We're very Sounds excited. Like yes, first on the list. So um, our last committee members had um, we had put together a very robust and um, uh, strategic uh, plan to host um, Zoom type um, digital forums for every um, uh, area that's in dealing, right? It'd be very, very simple. Uh, they'd be an hour long and we'd have uh, the council, the neighborhood council directors that are in those those um, neighborhoods that are would be there to come to answer the questions. We would uh, source the questions ahead of time, as well as set aside some time, uh, probably the last 15 minutes to take questions of people that are there. Um, as well, the last 15 minutes would be very, very controlled, um, and uh, but also gives our uh, community an opportunity, to just uh, you know, come and ask questions hear from our, um, our directors and give them the uh, ability to actually tell them what's going on. So um, the first one that we had scheduled was a South Park Civic Center Digital Forum. And that was going to be November, December. Now we're already in November. So it's probably going to be um, uh, better for us to plan something in December for this. Um, so we have a little bit more time for promotion. Um, and uh, do we have a, a tentative date in mind? No, we don't. So that's what's first on my list right now. Let's go ahead and pick a date for that. Um, what I found that is good, that is um, effective with our council in particular, is no one will get back to you if you ask them for their availability. Um, it's very yeah, <laughs> but uh, if you <laughs> but if you tell them a date they will tell you if they're available or not. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we found that uh, it's much easier for us to pick a date that's easy for us to coordinate and then just see if, uh, you know, a, a handful of our directors are available for those dates. Do we want to present like two possible uh, dates? That's a good it's idea. Usually the way I always like to schedule people, give people two options and case if one doesn't work, then there's something else, you know? Yeah, you know, like I said, we've, we've done that in the past. And no, and when you give, give the, uh, the uh, committee options, like the board, they just, because there's so few committee members, they'll get back to you. We can try that at first, if you'd like. We can try with two dates and then see who is, uh, who's, um, you know, who bites first. And then we can, <laughs> sure. who goes on from there. Um, but are there uh, two dates that you feel, um, let's take a look at a calendar um, in December, you feel it would be good to do this. And it's just me an hour, which probably after work, probably 7 p.m. we'll have it. Um, of course, it has to be on a date when we don't have another um, meeting. 
meeting now that I found out that we can't have two going at once, especially. And uh, is December 3rd too fast for you guys? No, that's good. Because we have nothing December 3rd. It's the day after executive. People aren't doing anything because the board meeting's coming up in a few days. It, it's sometimes a very good time to get people to go. If, uh, just a suggestion. Uh, John, so you December 3rd, uh, Thursday, December 3rd. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, at what time? Seven. I think this is right, seven. Yeah, 7 p.m., 7 p.m. Okay. That will be the first one, and then how about some of the second date? Mm -hmm. So then if you, looking at the calendar, um, what about um, Wednesday? Wednesday uh, the 9th. Wednesdays are always dead. The day right after our board meeting is usually perfect. Okay. Nobody's doing anything. Yep. Okay. 7 p.m. Great. And now, um, this is something that um, Alexandri had was in charge of. Um, Sean, you are very okay. talented at graphic design that I see. So what what I need is someone to create the graphics for these um, events. So that's just a poster for it. So, you know, um, something that we can send out on our on our, uh, on our our mailing list that has all the information on the states and all that, as well as a lengthwise um, and a square uh, graphic that we can share on social media and on the um, event page. Are those things that you'd be able to create for us? Sure. So you want a square and a like? What's the other yeah. format? Like a a, a vertical a, a by like. So like this. Eight and a half by eleven. Eight and a half by eleven, and then one of these, so that we can make the make it for the event um, banner, right? And then also a square one for Instagram. Okay. okay. So just those three different sizes would be amazing. Um, we want to start marketing this on as soon as possible. So it's already, it's the 16th. So when do you think it's so, a good amount of time for you to get those put together? Um, maybe by Thursday. Okay, cool. So what I need is like the... Uh, Content. I need like the, uh, I need the uh, logo, um, font. I, I need the whole design kit. We'll do. Okay. okay. I'll send you Do all. you have logos? I've or got it. Have, okay, great. Yeah, I'll stock you up, Sean, with all this stuff because what I'd like to do, I'd like to give you all of this, uh, you know, have you uh, take control of the graphic design for mostly all the outreach stuff because you're so good at it. Um, so I'll give you all the information and on, on access as well um, to the social account so that you can at least schedule them up there. So then uh, so social, so I need design kit. Um, and then for social media, social logins. And so we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, right. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's correct. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Um, and, so, and then I don't um, need the website information. Probably not. We'll talk about that a little later because I'm going to yes. reassign all of these platforms to both of you. Okay. Yeah, so you guys, and, and I'll give you access to the MailChimp platform. So if you use MailChimp? Yeah. I know, MailChimp, yeah. yeah. Excellent. So you guys know how to create that stuff, which is right. a dream. Um, and then what I think, um, if if I could um, assign you to this, Joan, um, is I need someone to be in charge of gathering the questions, right? Okay. And so um, create a Google Doc that will have, uh, that will just be the source where people can go and, and submit them, right? Okay. And, you know, um, 
solicit those questions, get it out there. You know, you'll have uh, access to the social media accounts. So, you know, updating the social media calls for questions, you know, okay. sharing it out, different things like that, right? So right. Okay. And then, uh, and then being in charge of curating the questions will be once uh, after our next meeting. And if you could get them all together in a, in a uh, succinct way, that will help okay. us get it all organized. Okay. Fantastic. So I'll coordinate with the directors on what date is going to be good for them, right? And um, I'll make sure I'll put a deadline of uh, this Thursday on what that date is so that I know what date to give you, um, Sean, uh, to update it on. Just, yeah, just see. It's, it's either the third or the ninth. I'll give them. Um, great. And a uh, suggestion. We'll schedule it. Yep. Since you are now working on a project yes. uh, and you're going to need to get together to work on it, I would suggest designating this as a working group for the rest of that project so that you don't have to have Brown Act meetings. You just can't vote on anything and nothing that you do can be brought to the board for a vote. But you're, you already have permission from the board to do these. So it seems the best thing to do is just to get the work done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Madam President. So would be the right protocol be to... Um, to move for a working group with members on? You can move for a working group. You just can't use the uh, the D-Link uh, Zoom account. Got it. We'll do that. Okay. Fantastic. So um, can I entertain a motion for us to create a working group for the South Park Civic Center Digital Forum Planning um, uh, Group? to contain Marcus Lovinger, Sean Smith, and John McCraw. Uh, so, what's uh, that, John? Can you give a second? Oh, yes, I second it. Okay, Sean, you will second. Any, uh, those are, uh, oh, uh, any, any discussion on this? Anyone would like to talk about this in particular? I mean, it's just, it's just protocol at this point. Great, so anyone object? Um, Great. Okay. We have our working group. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I love efficiency. This is what we're talking about, getting stuff done and, and, uh, and plan. Great. So let's move on to B, which is our further digital um, planning and assignment of roles and duties. So let's go ahead and solidify these roles and duties for the next two. Okay. John, go ahead and stay with, with um, you know, handling uh, the, the digital and uh, out, you know, the digital outreach and social and, and the uh, creation of the graphic design and stuff like that. Joan, you can handle the questions and stuff like that, of course. Mm -hmm. um, the next one will be the Historic Four Fashion District um, Digital Forum. Uh, that was going to be planned for January, um, but- Are those two different, um, I mean, you said Historic Core Fashion District. Are you doing them together or they're separate? Together. Just like this one is the South Park Civic Center. We're going to oh, do- Oh, got it. Yeah, okay. yeah we're doing them together because we don't have much time for the end of the uh, year. Um, and we'd have to do one every few weeks if we did yeah, that. Yeah, and those, got it. So I'm thinking- Have there been do... any, uh, have any of these been executed or not at all? No, nope. okay. we almost got the South Park one going then. Uh, People got COVID and things got a little worse. So we're now getting going. I'm excited we have our, our committee now. So this was going to be planned for January. Um, we do have one for December. So I think that it would be smart for us to give ourselves a month between them. So we should probably plan for this, those same dates in February. What do you all think? The same date uh, or the same figurative Like date. the same second Tuesday of the month or something. Same early the, day Thursday. The day after the day after executive and the day after board would be the seventh and thirteenth. Seventh and thirteenth. Mm -hmm. Those are always dead, dead nights. So, how does that sound for all of you for the uh, historic core fashion? Sure. There'll be tentative dates. We'll put them in there, and I'll I'll um, outreach for them. But let's go ahead and say February seventh, thirteenth for that. You said February or January? February. Oh. Oh, I was looking in January. 
I thought you no, said we want to do January. Did you guys want to do January? Do you think we have the capacity to get it done every month? By I mean, February, you're going to be hip deep in the elections. This is this right. that's what I was going to say. Thank you, Madam President. Is that uh, we also have double duty, guys? That we gotta we gotta work this election. So I think we might be a little overloaded at that point. Um, so it might be good for us to give us a little bit more time between um, our sitting board um, events, as opposed to the election events. Um, what do you guys think of that? What do you folks think of that? Sure. Okay, so let's keep that February. Let's go ahead and skip the month of January. And we can, we'll February, talk about- February, the days would be the 4th and the 10th. 4th and 10th? 4th mm -hmm. and 10th. So January 4th and- February 4th. Or, or, I'm sorry, February 4th or February 10th would yes. be the same wait, wait. figure of dates. I'm sorry, are we, uh, are we doing January or February? February. We're gonna skip January and then we'll probably, we have this a little later on the election stuff. We'll probably plan to have an electric, elect, election forum probably right around that time. Um, Cause the election is in March. So, right. Yeah. Late March, yes. Late March. Okay, so. Does that February 4th? So the historic core and fashion district forum you're saying February, just to be correct, right? Fourth and 10th. Fourth but then why, wait, weren't you just saying that we're gonna be busy with election stuff? So, um, so don't you think we'll be busier in February? We, uh, January, I mean, it's kind of hard to say. Um, both are gonna be pretty uh, busy. I'd like to get these done Kind of get the framework of the election figured out. Yeah, we do have the dates that we're going to go over a little later. This is okay. nice. So, okay. Um, let's let's stick with February fourth and tenth, and okay. then we have um, our Center City East and Area Wide. The last one scheduled for March. That's the last month that we're in office. Um, this particular board. Um, so. I think we'll wait um, until next month to to schedule that one. But now that we have two of them on the uh, on the calendar, okay. go ahead and work with those. Got it. Great. Okay, we'll move on to our D link newsletter planning and assignments. Um, you know, when we started the newsletter last year, we had six people on the committee that we're working on it. Uh, it's a very, very difficult time consuming piece, I will have to say. Um, from gathering the information and then editing and uh, making sure each section was, um, was handled. Now we are going into a very, very busy time. Not only are we gonna be helping the election committee with administering the elections and outreach for the our elections, but we're also going to be doing these forums. Um, I think that it would be fortunate for us to not scrap the newsletter, but maybe take it down to quarterly so that we put one out at least with some election information. We can work on it now at the beginning of next year so we can have one to go out that has all the pertinent information for the rest of the fiscal year for um, for dealing. This would kind of work really well with having kind of like a biannual newsletter. Since our first newsletter was was put out in July, this would kind of work out as, the, as this would kind of be the new year newsletter. So what do we think about that? Um, so when are you saying that you want to have the newsletter published by? So we would spend between now and most likely early January, um, putting together what it would entail and then we would uh, publish it at the end of January is what I've proposed. But of course, I'm open to all suggestions if we should do it a little later, a little sooner. Is this strictly um, election information? It's gonna be election information and then whatever information has been passed between now and that date, 
just so that you you all know, we're it's very we are under some heavy heavy regulations on what we can publish. Um, we can only share um, information that has been voted and approved by the board, or information from a official city agency. <laughs> um, so, or of course, something that is approved by the president of the board as well. So those are the three manners of which we are able to outreach, right? So, so, out how, so how do you propose to squeeze the election information through using which, like uh, the president? No, so what I'm saying is-, is that You're that saying, that, I mean, it has to be voted on or from a city agency or president, correct? Or um, one, one second. So th these are the three different, different pieces of information that we are able to share, okay? okay? You're able to share information that's already been voted on and approved by the board, okay? So if, if uh, there's a, a land use, um, you know, uh, application that we want to share on social media, it has to have been approved by the board ahead of time, right? Okay. We're here doing that, right? Or an event or something that we have voted on to approve as a sponsor. Second thing that we can um, share is something coming from an official Los Angeles city um, uh, source, government source. The mayor of Los Angeles, the city of Los Angeles. Um, Sean, I'm sure you follow a lot of their, the, uh, the official city Twitter accounts. Any information okay. they're out there, we, we can share out any of that stuff because we are official city um, organization. And then the okay. third thing we're allowed to share out on our social profiles and into outreach is any um, uh, uh, statement that is approved by the president of uh, DLIN. So those are okay. so those are the three strict regulations on what exactly we're allowed to share. Okay. And so on the newsletter in particular, we have to abide by those rules as well. So. Um, we should be, I know, <laughs> I know, John. <laughs> yeah, uh, regulations, regulations, but you know, it, it makes it so I'm that- I'm sure you know, we can curate something thoughtful. Um, I, I mean, yeah. So I'd like to assign uh, for um, either of you to take on um, covering certain parts of the um, newsletter, if you will. So the newsletter is cut up between sections of uh, areas of dealing. So we have, you know, the outreach section, which is uh, the, the paragraphs I usually write. Then we have planning, um, uh, all of them. You know, we have government, we have um, livability and all of those. Um, if you each could take two, um, okay. I can fill in the rest. Um, are there two? I want planning. Okay. <laughs> Don't, Joan loves planning. <laughs> and okay. You will be getting more people too, I hope. I just wanted to let you know, Mr. Chair, that Richard Norton, the new the new board member, is in yeah. the audience right now. I believe yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, So I, I just want you to know that he's here. Hello, Richard. Hey, Richard. Welcome. Hey, Richard. Um, Sean, um, is there a particular um, section that you're interested in covering? Um, do we want to bring Richard on? I feel like we need all the hands we can get with uh, everything that's coming up. Um, it seems that Richard was uh, interested. Would you like, would you like to bring him forward? He may not be interested. I don't know. All I know is that yeah. he's here. Right. Well, let's, yeah, let's ask him. M Madam President, are we, can we bring someone in that's not agendized? You can have this is an open discussion for anyone in this any stakeholder. So, okay. Uh, Hi, Richard, Richard you're, you yeah. you are now um, live. If you wish to wish to say anything to us, uh, I'm interested. This is one of the uh, two things I'm interested in doing. Even in the uh, <clears throat> short time I have, I think it's good to uh, go pedal to the metal. So outreach is one of them. And great. Patty had asked me about elections and maybe this is a way I can help on elections through the outreach committee. I'm not sure the rules for someone who's going to run since I am gonna run, uh, <clears throat> but I'll hear all that out. So Great. yes yes on the answer, I'm interested. Okay, thanks Richard. Uh, can awesome. I bring him, like him in here for the discussion just like Joan? I can do yes. that. Richard, we're gonna keep you here in the discussion. You're not officially um, part of it, uh, but we'll bring you on officially later on to the board. 
I mean, it's not agendized today, but we Okay. Have. So, uh, um, yeah. you have a question? So, what's oh, your there anymore? Wrong? There go it goes. John. Hi, Richard. Yep. John, do you have a question? What two uh, sections would Joan, uh, would Joan like to cover? So she so, wanted to be planning. Is there a second? I, I asked if you wanted to do a second one, but. Um, well, Joan, I was thinking government. I thought that would be. Liaison, okay. Yeah. Okay, and government. And Richard, what would you like to cover? Uh, Sean, Richard is not part of this meeting, okay? Okay. So. Uh, sure. So, so we're bringing you in tell me, Yes, so you tell me. Sorry, guys, we need to keep this orderly and we need to keep this rolling, okay? So please tell me uh, which two uh, sections you were interested in. Uh, I'll do uh, livability and which ones, Jones doing planning and government um all i can do livability urban uh, urban's urban. not meeting right now yeah so urban outreach planning so we need urban livability it would be urban needs right so let's just say uh livability and urban needs great now, what else do we need to cover? That's it on the um, newsletter. I will handle the outreach part. So just, Madam so there will be five sections. Madam President also uh, handles her, uh, her portion as well. Go ahead. So there are, there's six sections? There are, absolutely. And then we'll add, we'll maybe add an insert for the election, but uh, we'll see how it works out. Once we officially have Richard on, then he can... Uh, help us with covering those those parts of it as well. And what's the one that um, Patty does? She has uh, just a letter from the president. That what? It's just a letter from the president. Okay, so a letter yeah. from president. Okay. And I'll share with you guys, you all, the um, the template. It's a Google Doc that you all you can just sh share and place all your information in. Um, okay. It's it's a very easy um, uh, uh, process. Okay, great. Um, and we'll talk, we'll I'll update, I'll have an update with everyone on their next outreach committee meeting on where they are with that. And uh, between now and then I'll send you information on, and updates on that. Okay. Thanks everybody. Um, we'll go ahead and move on to D, which is our meeting outreach and live stream discussion and assignment of roles. So we had approved um, through the, um, through my outreach um, proposal that we are going to try to live stream as many of our meetings and committee meetings uh, as uh, human capacity uh, gives us the ability to do so. Um, I have usually been doing them. I do not have the capacity to do them myself. Um, I know Sean, you uh, are someone that likes to do live streaming. Sean, do you um, uh, have an ability or do you know how to live stream the meetings without using Zoom, with using something like StreamYard or something like that? Uh, what's the app or application that you were talking saying? So I have been using something called StreamYard and it's an online- StreamYard? StreamYard, yeah. And what it gives you the ability to do is it can take a, a window on your screen and you can stream that to Facebook and to uh, YouTube. And that's what we've been using. And it's an easy way for you to just pop in and just stream the, uh, the uh, meetings. Um, we can ask, we have budget for this. The, the StreamYard account is, um, it's like $19 a month. Um, I know we, that uh, different committees uh, did want to live stream, and so that was something that um, people wanted to make sure that was, uh, make sure that it's going to happen, so that was a concern. Yeah, so. I think that, I mean, everyone is 
was very open to it. There were no real objections to it. The only problem we have is someone that's dedicated to doing it. <laughs> we have to have someone that wants to sit through all of the meetings and live stream the meetings um, in real time. That takes a lot. Yeah, of and then basically it has to be someone from e outreach each time to push that button. It does. Yes. Okay. So um, what type of capacity, I mean, I can teach you how to do it. I know you're, you're very sure. uh, easy to do, but I mean, um, would you be able to at least do the board meetings? Uh, of course. Okay, great. I'll set up a time and meet with you and teach you how to get it done. Um, and uh, we'll just move forward with it. And then any other committee meetings, Sean, that's up to you. If you're, if you're free, you'll have the login to the StreamYard account. You can just get in there. And if there's a meeting that you want to live stream, you'll have access to all of the social accounts. So you'll be able to just stream the stream the committee meeting if at all you are inclined and if at all you are available. Mm -hmm. um, because the, 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 the motion that was passed that says uh, we uh, will live stream based on capacity. So that means if someone can do it, Okay, so um, I'll get y'all set up on that and we'll, we'll talk offline about getting you um, glued into that. Um, Joan, I know I didn't ask you about it. I don't know if you're, uh, you're interested in that, but I- Well, I'll talk to Sean and see what, you know, when, when he learns it, he could teach me and then if he needs it, that's- Yeah, yeah right. exactly. I think like if we can all just like have that info and so someone's busy, if I get busy, I'm like, hey, Joan, Rick, can you push it? Can you set right. it up? I yeah. feel I figure like if we all just ask, you know, just cover each other, you know. I love it. Cover each other so we can cover the board. Right. Jen? No. Yes, Madam President. Uh, this is really a question. If we're in Zoom and someone wants to record, everyone who is on gets a message saying that this is being recorded. You can leave if you don't want to be recorded. Mm -hmm. Do we have any kind of a legal obligation to do that on the times when we're live streaming? I don't know, but it's something we should look into. Yes, and what's interesting is all the live streams that we do live on the Facebook uh, profile indefinitely. So they're gonna, they're public afterwards anyway. So I think that that covers us, covers our, our but anyways. So we don't, you don't think that it needs to be announced at the beginning of the I think meeting that it's- We should have a disclaimer. Yeah, we'll do a disclaimer. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good idea, John. Yeah, that the meetings are being recorded. So just have that inserted into the agenda. Right, or at the bottom of the screen or something like that. It so should be on the screen, not on the agenda, because a lot of them right. don't bother with the agenda. And StreamYard gives us the ability to do super titles and lower thirds very okay. easily. So if you want to type that in, you know, it's easy to do that. Um, great. So that does it on our new business. That's our, sorry, old business. We're going to move on to our new business. And we'll start with getting Joan officially onto the board, onto okay. the committee. We're excited about that. So I'm going to move to add Joan McCraw to the outreach committee to have a second. I second it. Great. You don't oh, need one you, motion to know. Say that, Patty. You don't need a motion. I know, but I like I like the pomp and circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> Any objections? Joan, welcome to the outreach committee. Thank you. We're very excited. It'll to be have official you. as soon as we have our next board meeting yes. and have you verified. Yes. Okay, okay. Cool. But this is just preliminary. Preliminary. <laughs> Fabulousness. Okay, so welcome to our new members, Sean and Joan, and, and uh, in the future, Richard. I'd like to assign both of you social media profiles that you are in charge of, respectively. Uh, okay. I, uh, according to the bylaws, myself, I am the, the lone person that is allowed to approve any of the uh, any of the social information or run any of the social profiles outside of the president. So how we do this is is that. Um, both of you um, own one of the accounts, whether it's Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or both, right? And anything that you'd like to share, right? All you have to do is if, if you think that, remember those guidelines that I had told you ahead of time, right? Mm -hmm. If they're outside of any three of those guidelines, right. you have to ask us ahead of time, right? But if they're not, um, if they are inside of those three guidelines, then you are free to share them on 
on those respective social media uh, profiles. Now I'll say that again, because we're very, very strict on this. We get into a lot of trouble if we share anything that is outside of these three regulations, okay? The regulations are, number one, is we cannot share anything unless it has been approved by the full board of directors. So go back, look at the minutes of the last, you know, uh, term. If there's something on there you, you think you'd, you'd like to share um, on the social media profiles, go ahead and grab it exactly what it says or, you know, what we uh, had approved and, and tweet it out or share it. But it must have been approved by the board. The second thing, of course, is um, anything that is from a, a public and official city account. Mayor of Los Angeles, City of LA, the, L, the uh, Los Angeles Police Department, the Sheriff's Department, the Fire, Fire Department, they put out very, very pertinent information. Uh, right. SRO Dion uh, puts out um, you know, uh, his schedule every single week. We used to share that, you know, things like that. Um, so a, a, any of that, please share out. And third, any statement that has been approved and released by the president of the board. Uh, you can find all of those on the Facebook profile um, and uh, we'll coordinate. Sometimes we'll um, have um, a last minute statement, something that Patty would like to express. And what we'll do is I'll shoot it out the official language to all of you and there'll be your responsibility to share it on the respective um, social profiles. So the sh social profiles that we need um, handling are of course, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'll do Facebook. I'll Facebook. do Twitter. Great. Uh, Twitter is for immediacy, right? I'll do um, Instagram. Great. And I will go ahead and send you the logins um, and the uh, access codes to those very, very sensitive information. Make sure you keep those secret. Um, Sean, we have two different Facebook accounts. We have the regular official D-Link um, Facebook page. We also have D-Link Town Square, which is the official public group. It's not a lot of activity in there, but there's a lot of um, community members, lots of people in there that share things. Just so you know, we can't comment on any of those, uh, those pieces. We can only share into those as well. The reason why we can't engage in those comments is if for some reason another board member were to participate in those comments and a quorum of board members were to start to, to converse, then that technically is a meeting and that would be against the California Brown Act. So we have to be very, very careful about how we interact as public, as officials with our social profiles. Um, yes, it's <laughs> everybody that joins outreach, it's a little sobering the first meeting yeah. <laughs> to know what we can and can't do. But I, I found that the more and more you uh, you get used to it, it's easy and always ask. I am always here for you. I'll give you my personal uh, uh, infra, uh, email. Please email me. I, I say this every single time, the best way to contact me is through email. Please don't text me. Please don't message me on Facebook. It would be a good thing for everybody to only use one form of communication, which is email, because any communication between any of us is public record and public records acts tend to, you know, muddy things up quite a bit. And right. I like it all into one area. So my email, of course, is marcus.lovingit.dlink.com. Between now and the next meeting, I'll go ahead and share with um, you to the social profile so we can get started on that. And uh, that's, oh, and then Sean, I'm gonna get you into the MailChimp account as well. So if you could, uh, what we do is we send out a meeting notice a week before the meeting, usually the day after the, um, out, the uh, executive committee meeting, because that's usually when, or a few days after, it's usually when the, uh, the um, agenda goes out. So it'll be up to you when you want to send that out, usually a few days before the, the meeting is great, people. Our email is very robust, about 1,300 community members on there, so. Uh, so send out, what's the, okay, what's the ideal date to send out? It would be most 
likely the I mean, Madam President, when when do you put when is the agenda posted after the uh... agenda has to be posted no later than 72 hours before the meeting three days early. So I, I always try and do everything four days ahead so that it gives people time. But if we're so, just talking about what's going to be on the agenda, you have to have the agenda first. It depends on the, the chair, whether or not things came in last minute. Mm -hmm. it, it, it fluctuates with so that. Friday but, or Monday? That probably Saturday. Is this just the board meeting or is Saturday. it also for the board meeting? Board meeting. Okay. For the board, for the board meeting, um, I post on Friday before Shabbos and Saturday is the deadline for it. So probably Friday. Yeah, you, you can always find it. And obviously you don't have to not work on Saturday. So if you know if you want to pick it up off of the website. And all you have to do, because I don't remember anything unless it's on paper, is send me an email and say that you wish to be uh, on my email list of everybody who gets the agenda as soon as I'm through with it, I'll be happy. Right, and, and yeah, absolutely. And Sean, I usually yeah. send it out. I'll send it to you, of course, um, so you can, uh, what I usually do is I put the poster, just a poster that you create for a board meeting. Um, if you can create a poster for every board meeting, that would be great, much like the, the I'll send you some uh, examples, right? But if you wouldn't mind creating a, a graphic for the board meeting, for every board meeting that says it's your own date and all that stuff. I usually put that, just that in an email and then a button underneath that says read the agenda. And that links directly to the um, to the uh, calendar where they can download and read the agenda. Okay. Yeah, super easy. I'll, I'll, I'll get you into MailChimp. I'll look at the previous MailChimps. Right. Yeah. Sean's been doing this for a while. You last week, I just want to let you know we're getting yes, close. I, yes, yes, I, that's that's exactly what I was going to say. Thank you, Madam President. We're going to head to our last item on new business, which is election outreach discussion action. This is a big one, everybody. We are coming up on our election, and we have some election dates that are very, very important, but we want to make sure that we tell our stakeholders um, about so that they are, of course, um, up to date on exactly when things are happening, you know, uh, when they can, um, of course, um, when the announcements are and all those different, all those special things. So what we, <laughs> a lot of graphic design, Sean, so you tell me if you get overloaded here, or Joan, if you're able to do graphic design as well, um, I'd like to see if you could help a little bit more on the election side. Uh, we need um, square graphics put together with per three pieces of pertinent information. The one is the um, open call for candidates, okay, which we are in right now. And I don't have the exact dates in front of me, but I'll get those to you, Jane. Or sorry, Joan. Joe. There's a Jane in my Democratic Club. It's you, you two. <laughs> Uh, Joan, uh, so you can make it in. It's something very similar. To call. <laughs> call for uh, candidates for the neighborhood council. We'll have dates and then we'll have um, a link where they can submit, right? If we can have something. Are you able to create uh, graphic designs and things like that? Have you created uh, like invitations and things like that? I mean, I've done that. I, I have, yeah, I, I just have to read up my, uh, you know, it, uh, whatever. The <laughs> what I'll do is yeah, be on your working group, even though he's not a formal member of the committee yet. Right, absolutely. Joan, sorry, we'll 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 get this finished first. Joan, um, what I'll do is we have a uh we have a program that we use called Canva that has oh. three, um put together emails and graphics. So you just pop in there and change everything. So, oh, great. It, so I'll, I'll share that with you. So you have okay. um, so you're not this is does this require any kind of special Adobe interface? No, okay. This is just all online. Yeah, Canva is like it's it's e I mean it's not bad. It's like yeah, yeah, it's, it's just not Photoshop, but right. you know, there's a bit of layering and you know tricks to it, but Great. And so the second one is going to be a call for um, registering to vote. Okay. And it's going to be a uh, just, you know, a square graphic that says, you know, here are the dates when you can start 
when it says open registration and just a link to register. We might have some, uh, some verbiage on there, some Q&A verbiage on there that has, you know, so a little bit of information, but I don't want it to be too long. I just want to give people the, the information that they need so that when they go to the website, they can read everything in there. The city has it pretty, pretty well. And then the third graphic that we're, we really need to, uh, to push is election day. Uh, just telling people, one, when election day is and how they can vote. Um, you know, just another reminder, you know, get your you know, ballot here. Of course, there, there is a deadline on when you can get your ballots, right? So this is pretty much letting people know where exactly in the district also our drop boxes are going to be. And we've already wow. said where they're going to be. They're going to be in Grand Central Market and the block. We only have one. It will be on one of those two. One depending of those two. On which one right. One of those two. And then between now and then, um, Sean, let's get together on creating some videos that, um, that are going to explain these processes. Uh, I've already gotten the, uh, the budget approved and pushed for us to do a education campaign uh, on these specific dates. So um, we'll get together and put together a very short 60 minute, 60 second video that uh, you know, has a call for candidates, you know, uh, instructions on, on uh, uh, registration, and then the date on when election day and instructions on that. So how do you propose uh, to produce the videos? Like, is it going to just be graphic uh, text or will there be a presenter or not quite sure yet, but we'll get together. Let's talk about it, what our capacity is. Um, you know, we, it's a good thing for us. I think text videos are really important, but, you know, we can do, you know, uh, speaking videos as well if needed. Um, I am not running for my seat again, so I'm more than happy to take on those, uh, you know, those responsibilities. Um, but uh, let's get together and let's establish those so that we can, because uh, we have, advertising money to put behind them to target them in the district. So um, we should have those by December at least. Okay, so I'll get together. Just one more thing I want to remind you is that we can't rely completely on what the city has given us for information just to go to theirs because we have to explain to people about our territories and how they are, how they qualify. We also need to have the descriptions of each of our territories, which is in our bylaws, available for them to look at so that they know what they can register for and who they can vote for. So please start uh, putting, this is getting your gears going, start. Uh, Joan, of course, you know, mm -hmm. it's good to get started now on the, right. <laughs> of course, I'll send you the Canva and just get getting ready for us to start putting those out and right. then um, putting together a timeline line on when those are going to be uh, executed. And I'll get with you, Sean, on uh, getting the videos produced. Um, and that's it. Any other questions before we move on? Just do me a Happy favor. Up. Please don't burn out, Sean. What's that? <laughs> All right. So this is our final. Please I'm don't gonna burn you out. Our final general public comment period on non-agendized items. Just um, a minute, let me bring it up. The person who's been here the whole time, fourth and spring. We have one attendee. Have one if, you, attendee. if you wish to talk, please raise your hand. Yes. All right, I guess we will close our general public comment period for non-agendized items for tonight. Any other co committee comments or announcements? Wonderful. Our next meeting will be December 21st, 2020. Uh, and it doesn't say the time there, but it will be at 7 p.m. The changes are that you all know. Um, if nobody has anything else to say, thank you all so much for a wonderful committee meeting. I will adjourn the meeting at 6.54 p.m. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, everybody. Thank you. Her. Beautiful. Look at that, Madam President. Six, six minutes to spare. I appreciate it. <laughs> I am so so Richard, thank you so much for being here and for your interest. I'll reach out to you and get you signed up, all right? All right, <laughs> everybody. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Richard. Richard, if you could get a hold of me, I'd appreciate it. I've got some other things I need to talk to you about. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Let's see. How do we leave?